to find a jump like that and that's already a jump and that could end up being a ko already if he makes okay. a mistake there you go catches anthony doesn't blow the jump early and gets himself back so i if you had told me that ned was going to go for the suicide up b while we were mid uh scene transition i would have believed you because that's something ned would do yeah true Where's enough I like, oh my goodness, did you see the uh, the the full hop backwards momentum cancel side B there from Ned to try and give himself positioning there? Yeah, like, it, honestly, I, I think a big evolution that will happen as time continues to pass, we've seen it out of Rivers with Krom, is when the Krom, is when the Kroms and the Royce consistently use the wave. Oh, that's a good edge guard. Where'd you jump? Don't matter. Just go off stage, meet him with the neutral B. You don't commit to anything too heavy, and you have plenty of time to make it back, because that move has next to no end lag. Uh, uh, yeah, that was definitely a way to take the first stock, the runoff. I, I can't believe that Ned is a real human being. <laughs> I can't believe Peckham is so this awesome. Way. My goodness, true. Peckham is a great that, human being. Thank you, Peckham. That's true. Right, that's true. You, YouTube comments. Go follow. My, go, go, go show some love to Peckham. All right, so here we go. For, for the YouTube comments, the best Min Min. I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> Ned, Ned has zero fear. He literally just goes right underneath the limit break cross slash. Has okay. Ooh. Anthony with the, the Trump bear going to take the first stock. Ned not letting off the gas quite yet. That wasn't yet. even a normal ledge trump either. That was an instant snap up B into ledge trump. So like there was a there was a chance for a technical flub there. Oh, good aggressive use of cross slash on the way back in. You recognize that you're basically at trade windows that always work for Ned there. You just die if you get hit by that forwarder. Right now, oh, <laughs> that, I was expecting uh, a delayed side B from Ned to try and Bye. get the kill there. He's, he is going to get the Jair. Bye-bye. Uh, My but, man. He just ran in and got the, uh, ran in and got the raw grab. That was so cool of Ned. Like, that decision, that's that's just, like, that's top player decision making right there. <laughs> Yeah, and last, last I'm, I'm, a, I'm a learn you something. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna bring you away from the world of the Jairs. I'm gonna save you. We don't, we don't use that around here. I'm gonna say Jair, and you can't stop me. <laughs> I, man, look, when, when I find, I'm telling you, man, that first time we all go to an event after uh, we go to that 3 a.m. diner, just nobody bother going to look for, uh, for last afterwards. All right, so here yeah, we I'm go. Just, I'm just, Ajax, I'm just letting you know you're gonna have to wait in line. <laughs> Like, oh, I, 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 <laughs> it's, it's a running jump. Oh my goodness, Anthony, you were quite cool, my friend. Going straight down to the bottom, catching him, forcing him, basically making it seem like he's going to go low. That's basically the only degree angle that Roy can take, that 45-degree approach, and then you just cover it with that side B. I love aggressive side B offstage. With the parry F smash right there. Can we talk about <laughs> you that two frame with the charge neutral B? That's going to be Ned taking the set the same way. Or not the set, excuse me. Taking the game the same way that he took the first stock. Two neutral B kills in one game, Ajax. My God. There's next to nothing you could do about that either outside of getting the insta snap before he pulls the trigger. Because if you don't get insta snap for one, you get hit on the way up. You're done. If you happen to have uh, range with it, like to get in and they're already half charged you're lucky if you could get that instant snap off before that giant hitbox you uh hits you at the bottom ned is just so smart at the matchup like you said before he's got so much history with cloud he knows all the weaknesses to where you could punish him great to go anthony's been looking really good if anthony could somehow stop the bleeding and just force this man to just back off and say let me fight you off stage two let me get set up we could be seeing a long set but ned is looking really good this is such an anime sword boy battle. These two are just slugging it out. Anthony coming off the platform with the double up tilt, double up air. That's going to be a good starter for him right here. But now Ned's on the offensive and he has to be careful. He gets the grab into the up air, but a good air dodge is going to get him out of dodge, at least for now. Anthony oh. puts on the pressure off stage. Okay. Good I aggressive like up tilt right Ned. there. Like that, that, when, when you see a Krom or a Roy on top of the platform, you know what's happening? Falling up air. Put it up tilt out. Oh, that should jump. Oh, but the climb hazard right in the way just to get him out of there. Now that's a bad spot for Ned. What's the ledge trap? Nothing. Ned's a bit. Ned has no fear jumping from ledge. I swear, this man has jumped from ledge like four times and not been punished a single time. There was a neutral get up into a down tilt there, so at least we know he's capable of mixing up the ledge option when he feels like it. But it doesn't really matter because he hasn't been getting punished for it. 
I think he misspaced that. I think he probably believed that he was on the stage there, so he went for the counter to catch the uh, the cross slash that was coming out. Mm -hmm. Oh, God! <laughs> it's a jab, it's a down air. This man was not done with your soul, my dude. <laughs> this man, Roy wants the material in your pockets. Go ahead and hand him over. Turn him out, baby. <laughs> Give him to me. Oh, Another parry God. goes for the grab off of it, though. Anthony, good presence of mind there. Be able to get that cross slash out to punish him. And look at how scared he's playing. Like, he's got the lead right now, but it's very clear that Ned has put the fear of God into this man. He's backing off when he needs to. Yeah, basically, this entire match has been Anthony trying to establish some type of fear. Like, he's winning on the trades right now, but he understands. If he makes no mistake, you're, you're basically at death percent within two, like, one neutral win. Because you could die to Dancing Blade at the ledge. If See, he was looking for it there. He was, trying, he was gonna try to nair. He was gonna try to force him to a tech situation at ledge so he could kill him with Dancing Blade. He's look. oh my god, he's trying so hard to condition him into that fear, and Anthony knows it. He's like, I'm gonna keep holding shield, because the throw at least doesn't kill me. Right, and it, even in most of these situations, like, if I'm Anthony, I'm more than willing to eat a Roy grab. Like, Roy, at this percent, a good F-tilt there to get the kill. But at this percent, Roy ain't getting anything off of grab. He's not going to be able to kill you. He's not going to be able to set up for some cool high percent combo. Like, that's just not how Roy's grabs work. So in this situation, I'm more than willing to eat the grab and eat the throw for the stage mm -hmm. positioning instead of eating an F-smash or a side B, a dancing blade right to the face. Exactly. Now if I'm Anthony, like, look, you see Anthony, uh, yeah, yeah, air dodge in. Hopefully you don't get caught. Now watch your jump, Ned. If Ned gets caught at the ledge here, oh, look at that. See, that's like the fifth freaking jump from ledge. And Anthony's just like, you can have that. I'm a legend. That's, that's for you. Oh. That's yours. Ned needs to take the stock now, though. We're, we're singing his praises, but at least for now, Anthony is in the lead. He's going to send that limit break blade beam on the stage in his way and ned connects with a nice little sweet spot bear to take the stock off the board but anthony's done a fantastic job of building up extra credit on this stock he's got 86 percent he looks for the bear he's trying to take the stock out here and now oh, with that no. smash, smash and ned's taking him coast to coast for his troubles so, so oh my god somebody count the actions per minute after that that man was a swan whiff and ned had him at the ledge and ned not ned not but Oh. Three times? Four times? Four Five times. Can we get a, can we get a save? Can we get a save? Can we hear number eight? Can we hear number nine? Go ahead and do another one. Swing and a bad, bad, bad swing. Okay, he decided <laughs> to stop. Up. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> I mean, look, did you see something that gives me a reason not to say that there? Back here to F tilt. That is the age old flow chart from the clouds. You do it the first time and then you mix them up afterwards. Yes, you don't do it after that. All right. I, I'm going to be real with you. While everyone on Twitter might clown on him for the six, or was it five, actually, because you were asking for the six. While everyone might clown on him a little bit for the five up smashes in a row, what did it do? Well, it actually made Ned back off a little bit. It made him reevaluate how he was about to approach Cloud. Mm -hmm. That little moment, while he was just flicking up on the funny yellow stick, it gave Anthony a little bit of extra time to maybe establish yep. a little bit more of a game plan think a little bit outside of the box and figure out what he was going to be doing. So he ended up taking the game in fantastic fashion. 100% because that does two things. Whenever you fight a top player, this is one of the things you need to make sure that you think about at all times. You need to play unorthodox every once in a while because you need to basically make them go, what the hell are you doing? Because that makes them back off. It makes them second guess themselves. It's a form of conditioning as well as option coverage. And then after you just got steamrolled a bunch of times when you lose one interaction it makes ned behave the way you want luckily he was able to close it out afterwards because ned did get back to center stage but at least ned wasn't swinging at you with a rushing nair from ledge that could have been really bad let me go ahead and point out the concept of if i don't know what i'm doing oh. they definitely don't know what i'm doing but ned right now knows exactly what he's going for he knows what he's about and anthony is about to find out exactly what this man wants with that run up f tilt now a dash attack he's got limit so he should be able to make it back to ledge fine but damn was that looking dangerous for a second yeah there, and Jack. he got so lucky that he got that limit too because that was his jump snipes and now he's gonna force him to ledge again he's gonna let him blow that jump catches him again with that what are you gonna do about the air dodge down nothing because as soon as you did it that's completely reactable my friend ned had a perfectly executed literal dissection of that first stock absolute destruction only 40 sorry 50 seconds gone off the clock now and ned has already taken a stock not too much blood spilt on his end yet either oh boy anthony has to figure out something soon or ned's gonna keep up with this momentum i like the up tilt uh, 
up tilt nair to get stage positioning in okay he's gonna get a cross slash off of it too yeah now you gotta just keep that pressure going keep him at the ledge and just find some of these anti-airs you see that like I got thrown off, though. Apparently, the uh -oh. names are backwards on the bottom there. Oh! Whoa! Trying to, <laughs> using the wave lane to get the position on the platform, force something out of him. Ned is keeping this pressure up. Anthony isn't cool. He's been looking for a lot of these anti-airs, but Ned is basically reacting to him post-swing. He's like, hmm, you're swinging where you would think I'm going to go versus where I'm, at, like, reacting to it. And that is you when you start Anthony getting mixed up. Did you see what tried there, Ajax? Did yeah, you see other... what he tried for? <laughs> yeah, I, another, another let's shut that Like, this... Anthony, he's got the right game plan. He just hasn't stopped Ned from keeping pressure on yet. Right, the, the game plan is there, and Anthony's definitely shown that he's capable of executing that game plan and executing it very well, as we literally saw game two when he took the game. But it's when Ned gets his pedal to the metal, really, right? Where he's just, he's not letting off the gas right there. Anthony doesn't have time to breathe. He doesn't have time to think. He doesn't have time to do anything. And Ned just keeps pushing the envelope. Anthony has nothing he can do when that starts happening. And did you see that? He's still going to die once he gets up. But did you see Ned cancel momentum with the Dancing Blade backwards and then still up me back to stage to avoid the cross slash? Yes, and it just popped in my head. I remembered, all right, that's double edge dance. Different things. I don't want to get yelled at, but here we go. <laughs> this man, They're double edge dance regardless. It's just so characters have the same side B. It's Dancing Blade, dude. Hey, man, look, Quick, I'm just saying they should change things and be a little bit more accurate and let Quick Draw be a crit every single time Ike does it. That's all I'm saying. But right now, oh, oh no. Man. Hey, uh -oh. look, uh -oh. look here. That kills at 50. Let me do it too. All right, so here we go. Oh, that was good pressure. Mixing it up into the side B that covers that covers spot dodge, that covers potential jump. That is a good buffer away on that roll. And now the up smash on the other way. And that is an even game after that very large lead that Ned had to, at the beginning. Anthony has brought it back. Absolutely even game, only 8% separating the two. And now Anthony's taking the lead. He's pushing on in further. Yeah! Oh my God. <laughs> oh, remove the R button from your controller. That is not the button you wish to press. That is afterwards like, I, look, I, I didn't, I, 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 I didn't hit that air dodge. I didn't, I didn't hit it. I'm I, I, I didn't do that. You know what? It happens. It happens. You get scared because you got pressured a bunch. You air dodge in because you assume that you're probably gonna get dash attack there, right? That's one of the best things that uh, Cloud's gonna do to try to frame you at the ledge or potential jump. And what did Anthony do? He saw all the way through that, recognized that he was gonna go for that air dodge and capitalized on it. Listen here, boy. Change your damn tag, <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> Absolutely really friggin cool because he's going to do so much against Ned there like it was looking almost hopeless That was a reverse three stock. I'd like to point out Ajax mm -hmm. Anthony Absolutely shut down Ned ripped his foot right off the gas pedal and said nope this is my show now This is my stream you ain't yeah, getting that Chicago losers semis. I mean technically that would that you know that W went to Ned right because the names are still backwards uh, so <laughs> right now uh, Vance, <laughs> right, right now we have uh, basically the same start as the last. Oh, you're done. You're done. Oh, he didn't get the he didn't get the spike hitbox, and that is it's enormous. Oh, never mind. Okay, so still gets a solid punish. Tries to cover him on the landing. Like last, Ned even after that game just has no chill. He just not he never calms down. Oh, oh no, oh, oh, and okay. he to go i think he wanted the suicide there but he didn't because ned had such a huge percentage lead so i think he was trying to go for the suicide upbeat uh, to even that up but it just didn't work out ned managed to escape nearly unscathed from that interaction but anthony not one to let that go uh unpunished he's still holding w yeah true enough he did that i mean we saw we saw what happened before right and yes the consensus is anthony is in fact cool oh we decided to go for the cool, immediate dude. side b Anthony is like really big fan of using side B doesn't really hold on to it You see a lot of clouds lately evolved more into like using uh, The blade beam the B reverse blade beam to call out jumps and such but This man loves that cross slash and that up smash just runs right up on it and does it to him He doesn't even care 
I think a lot of clouds actually recently have been been taking a page from Spargo's book and just holding on to the limit. They use it both as an intimidation factor and the thing that a lot of people forget is that Cloud actually does get to when limit is is on the board. He moves a little bit faster. So a lot of clouds more recently have been taking that that page out of Spargo's book and just holding on to limit. They use it as an intimidation, a fear factor thing to keep their opponents guessing and then make great use of the movement speed buff. And Dragon Ball Z moment. Oh my god, that's they're that's great really quickly going to re-engage. Like the like four options in a row were pretty much covered by Anthony over Ned. And then they just go back to Nooch. They're just going back and forth looking for the one mistake. That could have been a shield break too, possibly. So that might have gotten into Ned's head. It's like, oh, damn, this is very low. Maybe I'll try to parry it. And he gets some. Anthony is potentially one stock away from taking down Ned, who basically looked like he was going to steamroll his way through losers. But here we go, the back air gets it back to even. I am going to go ahead and steal something from Lock Solve in chat. Ned's really good at taking the lead, and then Anthony's really good at ripping that lead right out of his hands. It's always Ned opening it up with the early aggression, and then Anthony going, okay, slow your roll, Buckaroo, I'm here too. Yeah, pretty much. They're both so explosive. Oh, go, goes from back here. Tries to catch the high recovery. He gets it anyways. He forces the air dodge. He's got to recover high. And because of the fact that he was lit out of position, he couldn't punish the end of the up B. Ned's still keeping this pressure on, though. Even with that lead, now limits on deck. You got to watch out for your recovery at the latch. And he gets away from me. He doesn't get hit by cross -up. Check it up in the game. Anthony gets the grab in neutral. That really good empty hop in grab but ned still looking to make this game five happen in ajax i think we all want the game five he's gonna get the back throw for the stage position goes for the dash attack but anthony he gets a back air of his own ned still barely alive thanks to some great di he misses the blade beam and ned's still in this he's on the stage he gets another back air the third noodle hit in a row come on just one sweet spot that's all he needs he wants the f tilt but anthony he's gonna find another back air this is so stressful ajax no limit on deck either He's gotta be he's gotta be careful. Shield so low. He's gonna be looking for up smash pretty soon off of that, but because he forced him off stage, he early climbing on him. Might do it. He went off stage to meet him with the four there. But Anthony gets the limit exactly when he needed it and ripped the up B, which has way faster frame data than the startup of that fair. And that was good mental awareness, knowing 100 percent that. Ned was going off stage to hit him there. If he did it too early and Ned never budged, he might have gotten killed at